Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys all enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday like I enjoyed mine. And I'm coming back to you guys with something that's hearty, yet healthy, yet light, because I know we stuffed ourselves for Thanksgiving. And that is a fully loaded omelet, guys. This is one of my favorite breakfast go-tos because it's light, but yet filling. So we're gonna hop right into the video. Okay, so first we wanna dice up one fourth of an onion, one fourth of a green pepper, one fourth of a red pepper, guys. You can put as many vegetables as you want to. You don't have to just put these types of peppers or you don't even have to put these peppers in there. You can use jalapeno peppers if you wanna um, be spicy or whatever, if you're a spicy girl. But um, then you wanna chop up your meat. I'm gonna be using ham. And you can also use ham if you have some leftover for Thanksgiving. And also I'm using turkey sausage. You can also use bacon. I've seen people put seafood in their omelets it's your omelet so it's whatever you want to put in there i'm just using these types of meats and these vegetables but once you get them bite size you want them all to be around the same size because you know guys i'm about portions how many times do i have to stress this every bite should include a little bit of something in that bite so um i after i dice them all up i am then going to saute them in my pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil and i'm just going to put my vegetables in first so that is my onions and my peppers in first and after about one or two minutes i'm then gonna place in my meat so then i'm placing in that hand that i uh, diced up and then that turkey sausage and the turkey sausage that i use is that jimmy dean fully cooked sausage um your ham and your sausage is already cooked you just kind of want them to caram caramelize in that um oil and stuff with the onions and stuff um and i just like to do this you don't have to you can put them in raw in your omelet i don't like the crunch of it without it being sauteed so i saute my vegetables and my meat um but once after about 45 minutes you can then place place your vegetables and your meat to the side and we will incorporate this in our omelet later speaking of omelet it's time to make it so first you want to add in a half a tablespoon of butter into your pan and right now guys i have my my stove on a level three okay guys level three so that's a low heat so once your butter has completely melted and you want the butter to to coat the pan you want it to be all around the pan you don't want too much butter and you don't want too less butter so a half a teaspoon of butter once that's all melted then we can add in our beaded eggs i added in two beaded eggs that i seasoned with a little bit of salt pepper seasoned salt and of course obey because i'm from maryland we love obey so once about maybe about one or two minutes after that egg has been in the pan you're gonna then add in your vegetables and your meat guys to one side of the omelet one side so add as much vegetables and meat as you want to guys I use about three fourths of what I made because I'm going to use the rest of it to place on top. And then on the other side of the omelet, you're going to add in whatever type of cheese you like. I like to use sharp cheddar uh, cheese and I just put that on one side. And then I chopped up some fresh spinach and some um, tomatoes. I use the cherry tomatoes and I just chopped those up real small and I placed that on top. Then I'm just going to place my lid on top and let that cook until the egg is kind of um, the, the water from the egg has like disappeared. It's not a lot of water in the egg and once it's not you will then be ready to flip it guys well, not flip it but you know fold it in half and see perfect omelet every single time guys no more no less and then guys we're gonna place some more cheddar cheese on top place our lid back on it and we're gonna let that cheese melt and then it's gonna be presentation time because we all know presentation is key so look at my omelet look at my omelet the cheese is nice and melted. I'm going to serve this with some toast, guys. And then to top it off, that salt, those sautéed um, onions and green peppers and red peppers and the fresh tomatoes, we're going to put that on top. Or you can make um, some fresh salsa, put that on top, guys. Serve this with a side of salsa. I like to use the Chi Chi's hot salsa. My breakfast was made, guys. And it's filling, but it's light, guys. It's so, 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 so light. And I know you are, guys are full from Thanksgiving. I, I have worn Thanksgiving out with these leftovers, guys. I mean, I don't want to hear, see, smell macaroni and cheese and corn pudding and stuff. And it, I mean, for at least another month until Christmas. But that's it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys are washing your hands. And I will see you guys at my next video.